Yo, what's up? It's Brendan Murphy from Counterparts. You're watching AMB. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Brendan from Counterparts. Yeah, how's it going? What's how up? How are ya? How should I hold this? Like this? All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> this is good, just All like right, that. How are you guys at home? You guys good? Let me know if you need anything. I just want to say welcome to Ambi, and thanks for chatting today. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm stoked. It is my pleasure. So you've hit the road with Parkway Drive. Yeah. How are these shows treating you so far? It's been really cool. It's it's uh it's definitely different than what we're used to. Uh, it, it, like going down to all aspects of the tour like how many people show up, the types of venues that we're playing, the way we're treated. Everything is just on such a larger scale than what we're used to. So um, it's really cool and, you know, definitely keep like the venues, like keep the free stuff coming. Like we really appreciate it. <laughs> I saw uh, you got free pie. Yeah, that was sick. That was yeah, awesome. That was, yeah, we got back to our, to our green room after the show and there was just like a little box the nice notes. Like, oh, thank you for playing our venue. And I was like, what is this? And I opened it up <laughs> and it was like an apple pie. And I was just like, man, like... You know, it's like, okay, maybe I don't miss, like, the 20 kids a night, like, misery <laughs> venue type You could stuff. get used like, to the bigger venues exactly, and Exactly, yeah, yeah. I, and, like, I think we're all kind of on the same page now. It's, like, supporting really big bands is sick. It's, it's stressful because, like, a lot of these places don't, they don't really give a shit, you know? They're just like, oh, you're the one of four? Like, okay, cool, you're, like, the garbage can for the, for the night. But a lot of them are very, very cool. So shout out to the cool ones on this tour so far. And the ones that have been shot, I just won't. I'll mention you online later on Twitter. <laughs> Not now. But. Well, apparently you've had the party green rooms for this tour as well. Yeah, it's been pretty. Yeah, we get we get pretty wild. Does the party come to you guys, or it just happen to be a room every night? No, we just like we have we have like a UE roll thing that is just always in my backpack. So it usually ends up with like we get to the venue and it's like, okay, uh, are we allowed to buy liquor from the venue? And if so, then we all just end up partying and. Uh, yeah, it's that. It's it's either like we're either you know screaming chain smokers lyrics or uh, we're like playing magic very quietly uh, with each other. <laughs> I saw you really you're really digging that new track with Halsey, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, it's so sick. Yeah, it's like we every tour we have like a you know normally we'll have like a playlist between songs. This one's a little different just because of how short time is, but normally we have uh, we'll have like a playlist that will have you know just songs that we are vibing. And uh, I think on the last tour we did like the headliner. Uh, it was like mostly 1975, like She's American was, was the one, and now it's closer. So we, we like to change it up, but I mean, it's always 1975, and then usually we'll add like a new, one new song, and we'll venture out like once on a tour, like, okay, <laughs> this is the band that is in 1975 that we're allowed Time to Time to get a little dangerous. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Something cool you're doing on this tour is in exchange for guest list or merch. Yeah. You're taking in magic yeah, cards. Yeah, we're taking in magic cards, yeah. <laughs> yep. Have there been any really good trades so far? Um. Usually it's like, honestly, when I initially posted that, there was so many people that, that hit us up and were like, yeah, we're going to, you know, I've got all these cards, I'll bring it in. And it's only happened a couple times so far. Um, but the stuff that we have gotten has been pretty cool. And it's basically just like magic. Magic is filling that void of like, okay, we've played enough dice. We've played enough 31. We've gambled enough today that now we have to like stop spending our money or we're gonna go broke and we have to just play magic, which I mean, I mean, magic can be expensive for sure. Like, you know, we all have a couple decks that are worth a bit of money, but uh, basically we were home for five months doing nothing. Like I didn't, none of us really work or anything like that. So we were home for five months and we needed something to fill that void and magic just came along and we're like, all right, this game's sick. Like, we'll just do that. and. Honestly, yeah, like we've, we've gotten some cool stuff. So yeah, cool. shout out to everybody that's brought in something for the tour. It's been really cool. On the music front, Tragedy Will Find Us is officially out. It's been out for a year. Yeah, yeah, it's been out for a minute, yeah. So I feel like the main question fans want to know is what is next on the music front? Have you started writing anything? Yeah, we yeah we actually have. We um, Obviously, since since uh, Jesse leaving and stuff like that, I think a lot of people were, were very, you know, oh, how are they going to? how they gonna top this you know they're you know do they even have anybody that can write and uh blake hardman our new guitar player he's been in bands he, like you know i can yeah like i don't want to list them all just because there's literally too many and uh any place for us now so forget it but um <laughs> but yeah like you know we like blake came on board um i started writing adrian you know is one of the best guitar players i know brian our bass player uh is a guitar player who just we needed a bass player, so he just, you know, changed the six strings for four. And yeah, so I think between all of us, uh, everything's really cool. And I don't, I think, like, I don't want to promise anything, but like, I'm pretty sure it's not going to suck, outright suck. 
because we're you know we're obviously going to go record with Will Putney again, and I don't think he's going to want to attach his name to anything that that's stinks. gonna suck. Yeah, exactly. You know, and like a lot of kids think that you know that it would be fine. Like they're and they're they're actually worried, and I understand the frustration. And I understand that like you really thought that that guy was like the be all end all, but um, I think for us like we're all really excited, and like you have to think like this band is how I live like it's how I literally like aside from the fact that it's the only thing I like to do on the planet it's the uh it also like this is how I like make a living so why would I want to put out something that's going to make people miserable and not and hate us and then we're not going to ever do a cool tour again like it's just it's so (laughs) counterproductive like you know we and at the end of the day like it's you know I I've been doing it since 2007 so it's like it's it is my baby more or less you know and I wouldn't want to screw it up and not you know we're not gonna we're not gonna turn into some crazy band to try and make money because it's stupid i'll just start another band <laughs> to do that but you know what i mean like uh, yeah i think people are too worried about things that they don't fully understand but for everybody else in the band we're all we're all on the same page and everybody's really excited and that's the thing that's the main thing too like you know without boring everybody of the details of just like sitting in a room and writing and recording but um what is really cool is the fact that everybody is excited. So now, um, like we, when we do write songs and we get together and things, there's like a spark there that hasn't been there in a couple of years. And I think that we're, things are moving f- like very quickly because we're all, we're all happy and we're all excited and we don't hate each other and everything's just like very, very cool. Uh, for the first time in, you know, not to say that it was miserable before by any means, like it was always fun, but I think the morale of the newer members is like really changing everything so we're excited i think i hope you like i said I, I hope people like it if they don't like sorry i guess i don't know what to tell you like <laughs> you know don't like our band anymore uh f- fuck you know we uh but for the most part you know we'll always try and just put out the best material we can because you know if i wanted money i would just go uh work in an office or something like if that's what i was really after but i like doing this shit so i'm gonna keep doing it for a little while at least Hey, man, I get it. I really appreciate you going in depth on that. Yeah, yeah. And, like, you know, I like to think that we're we're fairly open with people that like our band. You know what I mean? Like, there's no behind the scenes, like, uh, you know, well, they're not allowed to know that aspect of the industry. It's just, like, I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Like, you want to know, you know, why certain bands get paid more. You want to know why uh, that band was that you don't like was on the tour with the band that you do like. You know, (laughs) we're, we're very open with stuff like that. Like, we have nothing to hide. So, yeah, you know, it's just... Uh, yeah, we're just, we're normal, man. We're normal people, <laughs> you know? We're not these nutcases that are, like, money-driven, like, weirdos. I think a lot of people get that, too, from, um, they see it, like, like you were saying, like, you're referencing a bunch of stuff from our Twitter and stuff, and that is, I think, the easiest way to just see that, like, we don't take ourselves seriously. You guys are down to earth, clearly, you can tell. Clearly, like, we're not, we're posting about trading for magic cards and shit, like, we're not, <laughs> we don't take the, you know, we're not trying to give off this vibe, like, we're these, you know, uh supreme being dudes that need this shit it's like nah man we like cardboard with colors and pictures on it like, <laughs> that's what we're after but um but yeah no we're all excited and i hope everybody else is and if you really were attached to the members that quit like i don't know go find out where they work now and go stalk them or something i don't know what to tell you like go go ahead but you'll find me there too trying to get royalty money <laughs> One thing I wanted to dive into, I was looking at some of your merch, and okay. you've had everything from jogging pants to blankets. Your merch yeah, yeah, game is amazing. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Guy, uh, I mentioned before that I'm waiting for somebody to show up. It's His name is Trey. He's our regular merch guy. He The reason why he's not with us on this tour is because he confirmed another one, so we have our good friend Charlie filling in. But um, he's on tour with From Indian Lakes, who are playing around the corner cool, tonight. Yeah. So that doors for that show are at 8 o'clock, and Trey is like actually on his way here now to come hang out. He, he designs... He, he designs all the merch. He sells it. Uh, any anything, any visual aspect of counterparts that you've seen in the past like year or two, like it's all been Trey. I think you can find his website. It's like, um, I believe it's h h i i i dot net. I think, and uh, he plays in a band called Now Here, and he's just like he's easy to find. But he is one of the main reasons why our stuff is so aesthetically pleasing, and why there's like a very obvious. Um, continuity i guess like that like we have we have the same vibe throughout a lot of our merch yeah, and definitely the random items a lot of that comes from our manager ryan who <laughs> he owns merch connection 
and he'll just hit me up. He'll text me in the middle of the night being like, I want to do jogging pants. And I'm just like, yeah, I don't, yeah, whatever. Sure. Like, I don't know. Like if they, if no one buys them, then it's not my fault. But yeah, yeah sure. Go ahead. Do that. We were looking into doing like tech decks a while ago. We've done, you know, a bunch of weird stuff. And I, I think it's just like, you know, you have to every now and then you have to like change it up at least a little bit or people are just going to get bored of, yeah, I'll get like the black shirt with the band name on it. You know, you have to <laughs> at least, you know, you got to switch it up. Like we started, yeah. doing, we started doing embroidery and all these like, you know, all the, not that it's new by any means, but I think it's new for us because we just now got to a point where we can kind of be like, hey, this is sick. So you should buy it maybe. And kids are like, OK, well, yeah, I mean, if they think, you know, if like I think it's cool and if it has my favorite band's name on it, like I'm going to buy it. Um, which is nice, you know. It's nice being able to do things that we want to do and having people be excited about it. Like, for example, like I said, Tech Decks. Like, who, you know, why would anybody buy a Tech Deck now? But, like, we play with Tech Decks. Like, <laughs> who cares? If I can get one for free that has the band name on it, sure, I'll No, that's wicked. It. Why not? <laughs> well, just to wrap everything up today, is there anything you want to say to all of your fans who will be viewing the interview? Uh, I don't have much. Um, I feel like maybe I'm letting them down in that aspect. But, no, nah, I, I think... Honest to God, just like, um, yeah, you can find me online. That's where I say most of the things that, (laughs) that's where I say most of the stupid shit that comes out of my mouth or that hasn't come out of my mouth yet. And it's just been in my mind. But, uh, yeah, yeah, no, we're like, just thanks for caring. And thanks for like, you know, seeing through all this bullshit and not being like those dumbasses online that are like, they're, they must be breaking up and all this shit's happening. Like, thanks. I mean, if you are one of those people, then like, I don't know fuck off I guess but if you're you know if you're one of the people that actually stand by the band and have been standing by the band for as long as you have then like thank you that's that's awesome and that's the reason why we do it clearly because you know we're not made of money yet I'm wearing a shirt from 2006 you know it's just we're Mm -hmm. not to be fair it isn't my chemical (laughs) romance uh, tour shirt from back then it's got the vintage aspect but I won't get into that (laughs) I need to be Gerard Way right here you did? So, yes. Okay, well, there you go. So very cool. Well, I'm wearing his ghost, so it's all good. <laughs> ghost of you. Okay, next question. All right, <laughs> love it. Yeah, thank you for caring about our band. Uh, if you do, if you don't, sorry, I guess we'll try harder. I just want to say thank you for your time today. I thank really you. appreciate the thank insight and your no time. Problem. Thank you for having me. And really also, cool. I just noticed the 1975 hat. Yeah, yeah. They're, very nice. They're literally my favorite band of all time. I think. That's awesome. So. Well, just thank you. Yeah, go listen to 1975 if you haven't straight up. They're the, they're the fucking best. Like, there's <laughs> nothing. There's no better band on the planet right now. So. Well, just thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And Appreciate remember, it. to everybody viewing, you can visit us at amusicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. We'll see you next Are time. Are we one of your favorites? I don't know. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. You already know what it is. Comment, like, subscribe. We're on this YouTube shit. It's all, it's all good. You've got that down. Stay, we're woke. You know. You already know what it is. <laughs>